Alright you guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, we're going to talk to Marin. We're back in Sparta. I did one little side quest along the way. In that last area that I was hey. in the last episode, I did find a cultist kind of close. So I went and took care of that fool. And then on the way back, I finally took care of the old hag that was stealing babies. That stole the sister and took care of her. She was super low level. But uh, now we're supposed to head up here. You know, I think that this is where we got thrown off the mountain. We are in Sparta. We're going to the top of a mountain here. Uh, this might be where we got thrown off the mountain. So, not sure why we're meeting up here. And I think that we got our honor back and got our house back, right? After... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, oh, here we go. <laughs> What's going on here? My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Hmm. She might be dead, she might be alive. Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mother. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mother, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyatos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. I, I'm hoping we're close to it because why the heck did we meet way up here just to have a talk on a random path? <laughs> so we must be really close. Escort Marin to the cliff's edge. Is she gonna throw me off? <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, we're right here. I mean, I think I guess she knew that I wanted to go here. I don't know. Like I said, she we met right there. So this is where it all happened. This is where everything changed. Who is this? It's like I never Nicholas? Left. Is that Nicholas? No. Who is that? Oh, it's... it's her! Cassandra! On the edge of the world... ...a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra! Please! You use that name as if it means something to me. The name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family. Don't, don't trust her. Home. Tr <laughs> Psycho. My sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mother. She's beyond reason. Beyond reason? Is that what you told Mother? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with the destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. Hmm. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. 
You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! When I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead, and my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. Hmm. Do I Spartan kick her off the mountain or what? I don't want to fight you. You won't leave this mountain alive. Cassandra, listen to me. You're my sister. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I won't fail again. She's gonna stab her. She's gonna stab her. She's gonna stab her. We all have Cassandra. She's gonna stab her. Do I get credit for her cult status? What if that was the end? Demigod boots, demigod bracers. Demigod chest plate. Belt and sword of Democles. Ghost Whisper, uh, so I did get her cultist clue. Dinna and Spata. So, what? Oh, we're, okay, I didn't have to travel back down the mountain. <laughs> All right, so, your childhood home. Whoop. Now, let's take a look at the cultist menu. Oh, yes! Defeated the Chosen One. Ghost is a liar. Plan Pericles, both sides of the world. Ghost controls Athenian politics. Hunt all sages to reveal the ghost. 
all these sages here. So that's interesting. Um, I I guess this is um, this is her armor that she was wearing, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Did I get that other bow? Was this it here? Yeah, this was it. Paris's bow. So this does 8% charge speed and 20% damage with ghost arrows of Artemis ability. Hmm. Interesting. We'll try it. We'll try it. Why not? So what I do is I, I uh, disassemble anything that's not um, anything purple I sell anything uh, blue or normal I dismantle because you need all that stuff when you go for upgrades all right so is it but is this the main quest no it's not let's enter the childhood home anyway we're right here we haven't been inside. We've we visited this place multiple times. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. So we got At least the family is all Cassandra, Stentor, I'll get more wine. Marin, and is that was that Nicholas? I didn't even pay attention. Is he back too? It is. The wolf of Sparta. That that right there, that part was that was a little bit corny, right? Let's let's not lie. That was a bit corny. Everyone back. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Barnabas, I did this myself. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special. Look at the life they've blessed you with. Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Bottom of the best. This is weird, this quest line. What an odyssey. Odyssey's end. I was gonna say, that felt like the end of... That felt like the end of the odyssey quest line. Whoa, you guys, wait a minute. That felt like the end of the Odyssey quest line. But look, other than this, which is... We've got, you know, we've got to do this one here. This is for the gates of Atlantis. We've got to, up, you know, the upgrade the spear is just an always ongoing thing. And then this is the cult stuff. So I I think that I completed like the regular Odyssey quests. Because now if you go to all, this is a world quest. Meet Socrates at the cemetery. Those are in Greece. Where was the one though? There was one right here, right? The To go to the dinner? Interesting. The Blind King, which I can't complete. You guys, I think that... <laughs> I think that completed, like, the Odyssey quest log. Like, that was the one we were pushing through, you know? Barnabas comes up here basically saying, Hey, we'll be here when you need us. I got a family. The family's back together. And it was weird feeling, you know, we were all in there. 
All right, let's let's jump up here and do this other quest here. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of these other quests. Um, it's the game's not over. It's just that the Odyssey quest line is, I think, other than you know those ongoing ones that I have to figure things out and find those locations. Now, now we have to kill all the cultists and we gotta find them. That's interesting, huh? It definitely, like I said, it definitely felt like it felt like something weird was going on there with that family thing and everyone being there. You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all of one question. I know this story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the temple of the Onisus Colonatas. Good to know. Okay. Whatever she just said. So... His adventure's done. Newly married. Returned to Argos. Am I gonna have to remember this stuff? Dude, I was told there would be no memory. Sickles of Hermes. I was told there would be no uh, memorizing of any... Okay. Uh, I'm not feeling comfortable with my face right there. Percy's and his mother were found rescued by a fisherman. A wooden debris, wooden crate. Oh, jeez. I bet you any money I'm going to have to remember this stuff. Given a mir mirrored bright shield. All right. Here we go. Hi, guys. Hello, I'm... The Eagle Banner. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Uh, Poseidon visited women as a dolphin. Zeus visited mortal women as a golden shower. The great god of the sea, Poseidon, visited a mortal woman, Sara, a fisherman's daughter. The god of the sea frolicked with her in the shape of a dolphin, and she knew his love. Ugh. Is this a kissing story? <laughs> Relax, I'm just setting it up. Soon, Sara gave birth to a child, the half-blood hero, Perseus. I thought Perseus' mother's name was the Nile, like my sister. Yeah, and his father was Zeus. Ah, uh, well, that's true in some versions. Anyway, at some point, baby Perseus fell off a boat and almost drowned. Perseus and his mother, Danai, were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Victis. Lucky them. Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Yeah, good for you. Except swim, or be just. Hush. Now, Victis' brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iopi and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. 
never say you are better than the gods. Tethys proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iopi will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Wasn't Andromeda an Ethiopian princess? Hush! Perseus asks his grandma, Tala, <laughs> how to save his love. She turns into a manta ray and says, to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest Elot. I don't know that riddle. It's too hard! I keep losing people. Uh, it was hard for Perseus, too. But eventually he figured it out. How? He just did is all. <laughs> Perseus figured out what he needed. The golden fleece of the winged ram, said to be guarded by a monster who could turn any to stone. Luckily, Perseus was blessed by the gods, and he was guided by Athena's golden-geared owl to the monster's lair. Athena's golden owl? That's dumb. Sounds cute. I want one. And armed with the vorpal sword from the mighty Olethros, he faced the snake-necked, large-headed, shaggy-maned, stony-gazed Katovlepas! No! Huh? Perseus avoided the Katovlepas's killing gaze and snicked the sword, lopping off the creature's head. Ew! He grabbed the golden fleece and wrapped the Katovlepas's head in it. Then he flew back home astride winged Pegasus to save Andromeda, who was about to be eaten by the Kraken. He used the deadly head to turn the Kraken to stone. Wait, the what? What's a Kraken? Uh, like a giant squid? Don't you mean the sea monster Ketos? Pretty sure Homer said, release the Kraken, not release the Ketos. <laughs> you just made that up. That was not all. Hades appears with a pack of giant scorpions called Scorpiox and kills Andromeda and tries to kill Perseus. Huh? But Perseus huh? throws his sword of Zeus <laughs> at Hades, forcing him back into the underworld. Wait, wait. It's supposed to be Hermes' sickle, and Andromeda doesn't die. You're telling it wrong! Uh, in the end, Perseus wins. Zeus offers to make him a god. But Perseus refuses. So instead, Zeus brings Andromeda back to life because she was only mostly dead. Wow, that was so wrong and so boring. You are a sticky storyteller. And that story was boom! I am <laughs> sorry for your audience, Eagle Bearer. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Uh, apologies. <laughs> well, I completed it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Just making it up as I went along. That reminds me, don't we get to fight uh, the snake-headed lady in this at some point? Neener, neener, neener. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I need to kind of get a grip on things to figure out exactly what I need to do here because like you said I pushed that Odyssey quest I think basically to the end of that which is just driving the main story of the the mother and the stepdad the sister and the stepbrother but we've got a lot more to do here especially these Odyssey quests here um, not the upgrade because that's that's I don't get that until I basically kill all of the uh, cultists but we do have to uh, do the Gates of Atlanta stuff, which is those, and we have all of these to do. So I'm going to go through this, check it out, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode.